Natural numbers. Even in ancient times, the needs of exchange, trade, animal husbandry, etc. led people to the need to be able to count objects. Natural numbers are the numbers that are used when counting objects. In the natural series there is the first number 1, but there is no last number. Each natural number is followed by another natural number greater than the previous one by one. Therefore, it is impossible to write down all natural numbers, and when writing a natural series, the first few numbers are written out in a row, after which they put an ellipsis, three dots. Zero is not considered a natural number. Arithmetic from ancient Greek, arithmos, number, is an elementary part of the mathematics that consist of the study of the traditional operations on numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponentation, and extraction of roots. Diophantus of Alexandria Diophantus of Alexandria was an ancient Greek mathematician who probably lived in the 3rd century AD. E, often referred to as the father of algebra author of Arithmetic, a book devoted to finding positive rational solutions to indefinite equations. Diophantus was the first Greek mathematician who considered fractions on an equal footing with other numbers. Diophantus was also the first among ancient scientists to propose a developed mathematical symbolism, which made it possible to formulate his results in a fairly compact form. The methods of Diophantus had an enormous influence on François Vieta and Pierre de Fermat, however, in modern times. Indefinite equations are usually solved in integers, and not in rational ones, as Diophantus did. When Pierre de Fermat was reading Diophantus' Arithmetic, published by Bacca de Masiriac, he came to the conclusion that one of the equations similar to those considered by Diophantus had no solutions in integers, and remarked in the margin that he had found a truly marvelous proof of this theorem, however, the margins of the book are too narrow to include. This statement is now known as Fermat's last theorem. Arithmetic Arithmetic is an ancient Greek manuscript on mathematics, created by the mathematician Diophantus in the 3rd century AD. This is a collection of 130 algebraic problems with solutions of definite, having one solution, and indefinite equations. The equations in the book are now called Diophantine equations. The method for solving them is known as Diophantine analysis. Most of the problems in arithmetic lead to quadratic equations. Reading a translation of Diophantus' book inspired Pierre Fermat to propose Fermat's last theorem in the margins of his copy of Arithmetic. Diophantine geometry is an approach to the theory of Diophantine equations that formulates problems in terms of algebraic geometry over an algebraically non-closed basis field K, such as the field of rational numbers. Huh, okay, we've gone a little far. In Arithmetic a rule was formulated for reducing similar terms and a rule for adding or subtracting the same number or expression to both parts of an equation. Hmm. Did you listen well? Name the first 15 natural numbers. Pretty easy, the next ones will be more difficult. Is there a last number in the natural series? Does every number in the natural series have a preceding number? It's easy if you're careful. How many natural numbers between 100 and 125? And what about between A and B numbers? 